today on MTG Unpacked, it's time for a magnificent pack feast for patrons. So we've got a whole stack of different packs here with Urza presiding over festivities. Let's introduce the patrons. We have Ziggy Storm, Bermedian Belvedere, Loic, and finally Paul Parent. Okay, so let's see. We'll Hand things out like so, and then Ziggy Storm, a very hungry fellow indeed. We'll get these eight packs here. All right, let's get started here. Thanks for being a patron, Bermudian Belvedere. Any patrons get the rares, mythic foils, and anything over a buck. And we start off with a Goblin Wizard token. Very cool pull indeed. I'll chuck that in. A Thornwood Falls and rare is Hooded Blight Fang, Creature Snake 143 with Death Touch. Whenever a creature you control with Death Touch takes each opponent, loses one life and you gain one life. Whenever a creature you control with Death Touch deals damage to a Planeswalker, destroy that Planeswalker. An Uncommon Seasoned Hello Blade, Pestilent Haze, Conclave Mentor, and Econ's Blood Glutton, Truffle Snout, Mind Rot. You watch too many videos on this channel, you'll rot your mind and discard two cards. But it's all good because if you keep on watching, that will clear right up. I'll throw that in as well. Water's Battlements, Lofty Denial, Concordia Pegasus, Destructive Tampering, Grasp of Darkness, Garrick Scorehorn with the weird empty text box, and Turret Ogre. Okay, so there we are. The median. Pop these in here for you. Next up we have Loic. Thank you for being a patron. See if we can find a prickly mama set here. We got a checkpoint officer. Thieving Otter, bring back my deck box, sir. Go for blood, dead weight. Almighty Brushwag, Hampering Snare, Blood Curdle. Thwart the enemy, Pategia Tiger, Heightened Reflexes and the Uncommon Sonorous Howlbonder. Splendor Mare, Ivy Elemental, and rare is Cub Warden, Creature Cat. 354 with mutate 2 and 2 white with lifelink. Whenever this creature mutates, create 2 1 1 white cat creature tokens with lifelink. A jungle hollow and cat token. Alright, you know what? I'll throw in that cat as well because that goes perfectly with the cub warden. Okay, next up we have Paul Parent. Thank you for being a patron. Core 2021 coming right up. Alright, we've got a Griffin, a Blossoming Sands, a Foil, Forgotten Sentinel, and the rare is Speaker of the Heavens. Creature Human Cleric 1 1 for a single white, has Vigilance and Lifelink. Tap, create a 4 4 white angel creature token with flying activate ability only if you have at least 7 life more than your staying life total, and only any time you could cast a sorcery. An Uncommon Sanctum of Stone Fangs, Waker of Waves, Twin Blade Assassins, Commons Titanic Growth. Cage Zombie, Tome Anima, Feet of Resistance, Sure Strike, Chandra's Magmut, Sabertooth Mauler, Turret Ogre, and Ranger's Guile. Okay, so we'll tuck these in here for you, Paul. And next up at Ziggy Storm with a whole stack of packs. Thank you for being a patron, sir, and this pack just disintegrates. Interesting. All right. So let's boost the lighting just a tad, oh, not too far. We have Searing Light, Comparative Analysis, Eldrazi Aggressor, Kozilek Shrieker, Netcaster Spider, Witness the End, a very nice waste, so I'll throw that in as well. Gravity Negator, Bone Saw, Scion Summoner, and Upside Down, every pack in the box for some reason, Birthing Hulk, Tranquil Expanse, Press Into Service, and upside down again, it is Vile Redeemer, Creature Eldrazi 333 with Devoid. This card has no color. Flash, when you cast Vile Redeemer, you may pay colorless mana. If you do put a 1 1 colorless Eldrazi sign creature token on the battlefield, for each non token creature that died under your control this turn, those tokens have sack this creature, add colorless mana to your mana pool. And a very nice swamp and elemental token. I'll throw that in as well. So, who is disappointed the Eldrazi are not coming back for Zendikar Rising? It's going to be a very different dynamic, I think. Although there's still a heavy emphasis on all the land stuff. 
All right, next up we have Youthful Knight, Queen of Ice, Ogre Errant, Fortifying Provisions, Fell the Pheasant, Lash of Thorns, Insatiable Appetite, Unveil Tactician, Jousting Dummy, Oak Came Ranger for the Uncommons, Shambling Suit, Turn into a Pumpkin, and the rare is Dance of the Man. Sorcery for X, White and Blue, Return Up Tax, Target Artifact, and or Non Aura and Chunk Cards, each with Command Mana Cost X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield effects is six or more. Those permanents are 4 4 creatures in addition to their other types. And a foil inspiring veteran, a mountain, and food token. So that was Throne of Eldraine onto Theros Beyond Death. Okay, get into here. Okay, we've got a Satyr, a mountain, and a mythic. Nice! Ox of Agonas. Creature Ox, 4-2 for 5, so when it enters battlefield, discard your hand and draw 3 cards as escape for 2 red and exile 8 other cards from your graveyard. Ox of Agonist escapes with a plus 1, plus 1 counter on it. Alright, Uncommon's Destiny Spinner, Blood Aspirant, Old Sid of Life's Bounty, and the Commons next one, course, The Thrill of Possibility, and Thaumaturgia's Familiar, Infuriate, Starlet Mantle, Karametra's Blessing, Warbriar Blessing, Rumbling Sentry, Farika's Libation, and Scholar Grove Dancer. Alright, and who is able to participate in the pre-release this weekend for Zendikar Rising? I hope you can. Uh, I think a lot of places you're just allowed to pick up the box and do it at home, so that's probably what I will be doing. Okay, next up we have M20 Reckless Airstrike. Raise the alarm, negate. Natural End, Blade Brand, Leaf Can Druid, Frost Lynx, Dagger Sail, Aeronaut, Creature Goblin, Unholy Indenture, Marauder's Axe, Portal of Sanctuary for the Uncommons, Colossus Hammer, Diamond Knight, and the rare is Knight of the Ebon Legion, Creature Vampire Knight, 1 2 for a single black, to pay 2 and a black, it gets plus 3, plus 3 and gains Death Touch and Twin of Turn at the beginning of your end step if I play a loss 4 or more life this turn, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Knight of the Ebon Legion. And a Plains and Soldier token onto War of the Spark. Now, which of these sets here will you be sad to see leave the standard format? So there's a whole bunch rotating out. Uh, what is it? Starting with um, Guilds, Allegiance, uh, Core 2020, War of the Spark. So a whole bunch of stuff. All right, so next up we have Goblin Assault Team. Pouncing Lynx, Sky Theater Strix, Goblin Assailant. Soren's Thirst, Crawl, Stinger, Topple the Statue, Coles Col Colossal Dismissal, yes. I renamed the card on the fly, Gateway Plaza, Arlen's Wolf, and Uncommon's Vizier of the Scorpion, Angrath's Rampage, Arlen, Voice of the Pack, I'll throw in the Planeswalker, and the rare is Plain Wide Celebration, Sorcery for 7. Choose 4, you may choose the same mode more than once, Credit 2 2 Sizzling Creature Token that's all colours, Return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand, proliferate, or you gain four life. A planes and zombie army onto allegiance. So this is a pretty new box. Have not pulled a shock yet. So let's see if we can find one today. We've got a Gore Clan Wrecker, Impassioned Orator, Gift of Strength, Footlight Fiend, Grasping Thrall, Skitter Eel, Death's Transport, Oars of Locket. Frenzied Aranx, Gruel Rocket, and Uncommon's Enrage, Ceratok. Ministrant of Obligation, Azuria Skyguard, and the rare, there we go. Godless Shrine, Land, Plain Swamp, tap to add white or black as it enters battlefield. You may pay to life if you don't, it enters battlefield tapped. Yes, nice shock land there. Ors of Gilgate and a Centaur token. Okay, can we make it a double with Guilds of Ravnica? Fingers crossed here for Ziggy Storm. We got Collar the Culprit. Passwall Adept. Port Colour Spine. Never happened. Hammer Dropper. Demir Locket. Luminous Bonds. Candlelight Vigil. Piston Fist Cyclops. Pitiless Gorgon. Uncommon's House Guild Mage. Rampaging Monument. Street Riot. And the rare is Hatchery Spider. Creature Spider 5747 with Reach and Undergrowth. So when you cast this spell, reveal the top X card of your library. Where X is the number of creature cards in your graveyard, you may put a green permanent card with command mana cost X or less from among them onto the battlefield. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. 
and a Selesnyak Gilgate and Bird Illusion token. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings and be sure to tap notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And like I said, tons of Zendikar Rising content coming real soon. Stay tuned. All right, see if we can get something amazing out of Battle for Zendikar. Here we have Oracle of Dust, Altar's Reap, Plummet, Coral Helm Guide, Nettle Drone, Kite Sail Scout, Shadow Glider, Stone Fury, Smite the Monstrous, Zulaport Cutthroat, that's a good one, Uncommon, Royals Retribution, Retreat to Valakut, and the rare is Prism Array, Enchantment for 5, Converge. So it enters bad for with a Crystal Counter on it for each colour of mana spent to cast it. If you remove a Crystal Counter from it, you get to tap target creature for every colour of the mana, or mana, Magic Rainbow with every colour there, Scry 3, okay. Oh, nice, a foil rare, Sanctum of Ugin. It's a land, tap to add one to your mana pool. Whenever you cast a color spell with command mana cost seven or greater, you may sacrifice Sanctum of Ugin. If you do, search your library for colors, creature card available, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. And a very nice island and Eldrazi Scion. I'll throw that in as well. So there we have it, Ziggy Storm. Lots of good stuff today for you, sir. Pop these in here. I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.